Hey guys, hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. And guys, one of the questions I get every single day is about meal planning, is about recipes, show me what to eat. So what I want to do today is show you something simple starting right from the beginning, which is going to be breakfast. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to have you know, difficult recipes. The recipes don't need multiple ingredients. You could do it very simply. So what I thought I'd do today is just show you a simple simple omelet that I like to make a lot with vegetables in it, garlic, some onion, and guys, you can put whatever you want in it. If you choose to put meat in it, you can put turkey bacon, you could put steak, you could put chicken, anything you want. Really, an omelet is almost like a palette. It's like a, it's like a painting, an empty palette. You could put whatever you want into it, and you're always going to get great flavors with it. So what I'm going to start with today is this is going to be some red bell pepper. I'm going to put some onion, garlic, broccoli, into this omelet. So it's more of a veggie omelet today. So I'm going to get the pan going and we're really going to be cooking here. So what I'm going to start with is fourth and heart ghee butter. Now ghee butter, if something that is new to you, ghee butter is basically um, clarified butter that's been clarified again. So that way it's got a higher smoking point and it's a lot cleaner. So it's for people who have lactose issues, or issues with the proteins that are in you know, casein and so on, this is gonna be a lot better for you. But you can use regular butter, you can use um, olive oil. If you wanna use olive oil, I keep it a lower temperature, you could use avocado oil. I've got some of that over here. I've got some of my family's olive oil from Italy right over here. So you could use whatever you like. So what I'm gonna start off with is some of the ghee butter. and. The reason you're using, you know, healthy fats is because obviously, you know, you've heard me mention this a lot that the cell membranes in your body are made of fat. So you want healthy fats on a, on a keto diet. And this doesn't even have to be keto. You can use this in a paleo diet or just a healthy diet. For people who don't want to do keto or feel like it's too complicated, too difficult, don't worry about that. Just use this recipe for a, for a healthy diet because one thing I find with a lot of people who do keto is they start to use too many cheeses. I think cheeses are for people because it's an easy one to go to. It's so simple. You just eat a lot of cheese and a lot of bacon, and I think that's what the keto diet has been labeled as. But I'm going to show you a lot healthier version of that today. So like I said, I've got the ghee butter going on in here. I'm just going to add <clears throat> the onion to it. And I like to start off with the onion, and I like to start off with the bell pepper because I want to get these going to soften them up. These tend to be a little... Uh, denser and I don't want to burn the garlic so I want to get this going onions and the red bell pepper going in the pan and I'm just gonna flip this around get this going and then what I'm gonna do to this is I'm gonna add in the garlic and the broccoli but I'm gonna do the broccoli first because that's a little denser than the garlic and I want to get that softened up what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the garlic going so I'm gonna smash the garlic Best way to mince garlic is to smash it up first. Give it a nice fine chop, unless you like big chunky pieces of garlic in your omelet. I don't. I'd rather have it minced up nice and tiny. But like I said, I wanted to give the other vegetables a head start on the garlic because I just want to release the flavors of the garlic and take some of the heat out of it. Garlic, as you know, is very hot when it's raw and you don't want it that way. And so I don't want to overcook the garlic. So basically all I'm doing is putting the garlic in towards the end just like that. All right. So now give this a little quick flip. So while this is going now, I'm going to get the eggs beaten. So I have here three farm fresh eggs. One of my patients has uh, free range chickens. So what I did is I moved the vegetables off to the side because what I want to do is do an omelet where I flip it to a half moon omelet. You could do it different ways. You can put in the eggs around the outer edges of it. <clears throat> so now what's happening is the eggs are cooking. I lowered the heat because you don't want to burn the eggs. And all I'm doing is just moving them around in a pan. One thing I like to do too is scrape them off the sides because people always say my, my omelets come out runny. Well, all you have to do is as you scrape it off the sides, lift the egg up a little bit and get the egg under 
the already cooked egg. And like I said, what I did here is I moved the vegetables all off to one side because I'm just going to flip it in half. <clears throat> I've done it also too where you, you leave the vegetables right up the middle and then you can fold it in this way. Lots of different ways to do the omelet. But today I just chose to do it this way. And guys, if you break the omelet, no big deal. Now you have scrambled egg with vegetables. So don't put the pressure on yourself. And like I said, use whatever vegetables you like. I like to use broccoli. You know, in the winter time, I tend to like to use um, rosemary. Rosemary's got that great flavor. You know, it's so amazing in the fall. So rosemary is great for what I call my rustic omelet. So this is cooking away here. As you can see, it's starting to firm up. And like I said, all I just simply do is move it to the side so that way I can just keep on making sure the wet part of the egg. So what I'm going to add now is some cheese. I know you guys hear me a lot say don't eat so much cheese, but I'm going to put a little bit of cheese in this. And the kind I'm using is the Dubliner cheese from Kerrygold. It's a great cheese and it happens to be great in flavor. I love it. It's a nice type of cheddar -y type of taste. But at the same time, Kerrygold products are typically grass-fed, if not all grass-fed. So what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of cheese on this. Like I said, I lowered the heat. Not a lot of cheese, just grate in some cheese. Now what I'm going to do is flip it over. This one broke a little bit, but no big deal. <clears throat> so now I'm going to plate this. And there you have it. There's my omelet. Now what I'm going to do to this, I'm going to put a little bit of avocado. So I'm going to grab an avocado, put some avocado with it, nice sliced up on the side, maybe drizzle a little bit of olive oil. It's going to be amazing. All right, so guys, the way you cut an av avocado, I like to cut it in half this way. Or you can put it flat on a plate and cut it that way. But just cut an avocado up. Peel the skin away. Now, avocados, you know, are fantastic quality fats. This is one thing I use every single day in my diet is avocados. I eat a lot of them. And so I will just fan this out on the plate. Make it look a little nicer. And there you go. So what I'm doing here now, so I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it, a little bit more healthy fats. A little bit of salt, a little bit of salt on my omelet. And there we have it. Nice healthy breakfast. So once again, you've got eggs. And you know, one of the questions I get a lot is people will say, well, you know, if I can't get the farm fresh eggs, if I can't get the free range eggs, if I can't get the steak that's grass fed, don't worry about it. Just make sure you're eating healthier like this. Just changing from your healthy, quote unquote, whole grains to more of a, um, a keto type of diet or even a paleo diet is going to be a lot healthier for you because the grains are highly inflammatory. So just by switching to where you're getting some nice healthy fats, the vegetables, the eggs. As you saw, I put ghee in here. So this, this is just loaded up with high quality fats. You've got the protein from the eggs. I now have more high quality fats from the avocado. And at the same time, I've got quality fats from the olive oil. So this is just a keto's dream right here. So guys, try this out. Let me know what you think about it. Like I said, cooking doesn't have to be difficult. I could have put anything with this and it would have been amazing. I could have put steak. I could have put chicken. I don't think I would have put fish. But you know what? You could do shrimp. Maybe a shrimp omelet or maybe a lobster omelet. That's going to be really good. But I don't think I'd put any kind of other kind of fish. Definitely not being Italian. I definitely wouldn't put scongili or calamari or anything like that in an omelet. But anyway, guys, I hope you like the recipe. If you do, comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And we're going to come back at you with some more great recipes in just a little while. Thanks so much. God bless.